Christoph and Edvige Busch have been mapping the chimpanzee mind through an extraordinary kind of tool use. There was this eight day, it was beginning of December in 79. I was following chimps through unknown lands. I didn't know where I was anymore. They were drumming, screaming. I followed with my compass behind. And suddenly there was great excitement and I was hiding under some vegetation and there was a clearing in front of me with a big tree, big branch sticking out and I heard some banging so I approached without making the slightest noise and I heard the chimps coming past me, I could feel their warmth, I could smell them, they all started climbing up these trees with big tools in their hands and banging on something which I finally realized they were cracking nuts. The sight is unforgettable, something of prehistoric times, the image of these great animals using these big tools. To crack nuts, the chimps seem to have grasped the concepts of hammer and anvil. The anvil is a tree root, the hammer a wooden club or sometimes even a stone. Although it may seem effortless, it takes a decade of practice before the chimps develop real expertise. When you look at these images of chimps cracking nuts, it looks terribly easy. And people don't realize how difficult it is. I made an experiment. I asked a primatologist who came to visit me here. I gave him some nuts and a nice place in the forest, and I told him, yeah, crack some nuts now. You will see how easy it really is. It took him 25 minutes to open the first nut. It took him 40 minutes to eat three nuts. And you can imagine, if you really have to fight 40 minutes for three nuts, it's not worth it. I remember the very first time I saw a female mother who was looking at her five-year-old trying to crack a nut. And she was fighting with a very, very strange formed club. And she was changing her position all the time and changing the grip of the hammer and didn't succeed. And she was starting to whimper, not knowing what to do. And then the mother came. The infant immediately stepped a bit backwards. And the mother took the hammer, and in a very slow motion move, she turned the hammer. And just the move, this turning the hammer, took her a whole minute. So it was even slower than I did. And as to emphasize, that's the way you should hold the hammer. And she cracked for some nuts for her, and then left. And the infant tried again, with exactly the same grip as the mother. She still had some trouble to crack the nut, so she changed position, changed the place of the hammer, but kept all the time exactly the same grip as the mother showed her. So that's really correcting an error in an infant, which is really the highest form we would consider of active teaching. And that just was kind of a surprise, was the first observation in animal, for an animal doing that. A young chimp's tutor is its mother who teaches it most of the skills it needs to survive. The Bush's research has shown that female chimps are the most expert and dedicated tool users, which may shed some light onto the origins of tool use among our own ancestors. Already here we have a slight sexual difference in favor of females in that they crack more than males. Another technique to crack nuts up in the trees is much more often done by females and they have to anticipate to bring the hammer up on a branch in the tree and then they have to handle it up there, hold the nuts in a foot in the hand, hold the hammer, hold the baby and still crack somehow and eat these nuts. And then we have another nut species, panda nuts, very hard, you need stone tools to open it. Stones are a rarity in the forest. Again, this technique is more often done by females. It could make you think that maybe tool use in our ancestors was also a female activity and the first tool users and 
tool inventors may well have been females. Females also transport learned skills between chimp communities when they move from group to group at adolescence. But sadly, as chimp populations become increasingly isolated, this kind of cultural exchange will come to an end. Only recently have researchers all across Africa realized that some of the differences between their study groups were cultural due to the invention and passing along of learned traditions. In the Kabali forest of Uganda, Richard Wrangham has found that it is culture which enables some chimps to eat foods others must forego. So here we got a safari ant nest. And in five years, we have clear evidence that the chimps here do not ever eat these. But in Thai and in Gombe, this is what they do. A wand onto the nest and then sweep the ants up a biting, lemony taste. You've got to be pretty quick, and you've got to know what you're doing. And having just tasted them, I can understand why chimps like to eat them, but on the whole, I'd prefer not to myself. Every chimp group has its own unique toolkit. Only at some locations have they learned to use wands to capture ants or termites. At Thai, they use bone picks to dig out the marrow just as our earliest ancestors did. They will also use a wadge of fruit as a sponge to help squeeze out every trace of sweetness from the pulp. While at Gombe, as well as at Thai, chewed leaves make a sponge to quench the thirst at shallow puddles. We have only begun to realize the depth of the traditional knowledge generated by the various nations of chimps. One puzzling cultural practice is the eating of hairy and unpalatable leaves. They ball them up in their mouths, forcing them down whole. Well, here I've got one of the leaves that is swallowed whole by chimpanzees. This particular one is the one that the chimpanzees tend to swallow at dawn. Why they do it at dawn is not clear. And indeed, why they do it at all is still not certain. Well, one possibility is they're helping to remove worms. This is so new that we don't even know the name of this. We think it's part of a tapeworm. And it looks as though when the chimpanzees have this tapeworm, they swallow the leaves in order to expel the tapeworm. Scientists are now searching for drugs among the plants they believe chimps take as medicine. We have long tested human drugs on chimps. Someday we may test drugs discovered by chimps on ourselves. Uh -oh. 